Hello and welcome to. Is there any game audio? You're going to make it make us out? Yeah, there we go. It's a game audio. Uh, welcome to a bit more satisfactory. My name is Tris Magistus, uh, and this is my Friday factory. Friday, Friday factory. My Friday satisfactory stream. Uh, stream for a couple of hours on Friday. Satisfactory. Um, not my most popular stream. <laughs> I think the timing's rubbish. I think that's one of the biggest problems. But uh, it runs either at school or work or not awake. Um, but it's all right. I'm plodding through the game. Um, let's get going. I've done a little bit. I've mainly been playing Dyson Sphere program uh, in my spare time. So I've not done a lot on this. I did go round and... Actually, did I change the setting on? Hang on. Hang on. Oh, we're not going to crash, are we? There was a huge update this week. No, that looks okay. I just need to check. I have to set the stream manager settings to the correct settings. Are we playing satisfactory or are we accidentally still playing? No, yeah, we're satisfactory. Cool. Did do that. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. I think we're ready. So. Uh, yes, I did do a little bit. Not a lot, a little bit. Uh, which is basically, I collected a few more presents. I've got about... Ooh, okay. I've got about 500 or something? Well, 650 left. Um, but you see, I've rounded these up to 100. So we've got 100 candy canes, 100 Fixmas bows, and 100 Fixmas tree branches. Uh, oh, there's also 15 tokens, so we'll spend them. There should also be one or two more in here. Oh, not yet. I've only just grabbed them, obviously. Uh, this is what we're sort of waiting to happen. This is what I'm using Fixmas as an excuse for. Because I want to unlock all the cool... Well, most of the cool stuff uh, from the awesome shop before I really do any more building. We're getting presents falling now. Uh, should we go and grab them yet? Um, basically, we've, I've still just got the three here. I don't think they've got anything in them. No. Here and ready to go. I did, however, figure something out. Um... I'm just going to grab these presents, because this is mostly what we're going to do again today. Um, well, oh, there it is. Whether I'm really interested in sort of um, playing next week as well, I'm not sure, because I sort of had a bit of a cheeky look about what this event is all about, and I'm not massively interested in what it gives you. I think the, the fairy lights that it has, they look pretty cool, from what I can see from my like, pictures and videos and stuff, but... Um, the whole the trees and the warbles and stuff is not massively interesting to me, so we'll see what we can do. But there is something I did work out. Oh, and there's another one here, crikey! And this, the whack-a-mole picking these things up, is a bit tedious, if I'm honest. <laughs> oh, it's alright, you know, it's a limited time event and it's free and you're not paying for anything and blah blah blah. But this is sort of my, I think my interest has waned to a degree, <laughs> which is to say, it's kind of, I think I said last week sort of my problem with a lot of these events that, you know, like an, um, seasonal things and stuff if you're not particularly into that particular thing or it doesn't give you cosmetics that you particularly want it's like a waste of money usually but um, right so I just grabbed a few more there but what I figured out it's probably not going to be, oh here we go it is visible, is this I hadn't realised this was, this had appeared and the next one we need to do and we can, I think we can do all of them now, I'm not sure. The 11th, 4th, 1st, 4th, 5th and 11th of December. What date is it today? Oh no, the 11th is tomorrow. Okay. So I can't actually do the last one. But I will, in theory, before the next event. Uh, but these, when it talks about the Fixmas calendar, it's an advent calendar. Makes sense, really. But an advent calendar is in... I don't know if other countries have these, but um, I know the Americans do. You have, like, um, windows you open. Because Advent is basically the period from the 1st to the 24th of December, which is the lead-up to Christmas uh, in the UK. I know I know, there are some countries that don't celebrate Christmas on the 25th. It's all, uh, There is a reason why it is the 25th. I can't remember what it is, but it's nothing to do with it being Jesus' actually birth, but actual birthday. But Excuse me. Uh, but basically, these things... So, th we're meant to get one bauble in order to be able to make baubles. It's like a 
you know, self-looping thing. And I was like, well, where the heck is this? Because the fourth has already gone. Because the first was that one, and it gave you them, like, you know, you just used the presence, basically. But these, you need a bauble in order to do this research. And I was like, well, where is it? Maybe it's in the in, in the presence or something like that. But what it is, is it's in the advent calendar. Okay, and a bit like I was saying, so in the UK, and I, I think America as well, in particular, you get chocolate advent calendars, basically. They're like the, you know, the, the, big, the one most people want, as it were. They don't traditionally, traditionally, it's just literally a window that opens in a picture. And you'll see doing it. In fact, let's open that up. Um, and they they you open a little door and there's a little picture behind them. Uh, but you get chocolate versions which have a little chocolate behind them. Um, and essentially, this is the same idea. It's got presents behind windows, but you've got to find the window. Now you can actually, it will just literally tell you where they are <laughs> if you put, if you can't find it. But if you can see, you got like 23 there and 12 there, seven there. And that's number three, for example. That's the next one we need to open. I did two of them, one and two, just to see what it was about. And it gave me colour cartridges, which I think are irrelevant now. Um, but then you've got, like, there's a six there and 17 there. and So we'll try and find them properly. And if we can't, we'll just open them. Because it's now the 10th of December as I'm recording this. So we've got number three here. Look. And that gives us the bauble, you see. And that now will allow us to do that research. So, can we see number four? Where's number four? So I've just got nine there. I, I can open them, I think, in any order, but let's try and do them in order. Can we see number four? That's 14, isn't it? 12, 18. Is that a 10 maybe there? 15, 22. Can't see a number four. Don't want the entire stream to be this, so I'll just cheat if I can't see it. I had seen it though, when I was just looking over the thing. It's somewhere pretty obvious, but you, well, I can show you the hint, show you the hint thing. So, hint, oh, there we go. It's in the star, and so this is giving me an ornament bundle. Don't really know what that does. <laughs> okay, uh, and then I say is the ninth, so we can go up to uh, uh, number nine. In fact, let's just find the ones as we we know what where they are and what they're. Oh, 20 power shards. That's all right. That's a good gift. And then what else we got? Is there a number eight or six? Oh, there's number six, I think. Is that number six? Oh, and I've got some more bows. That's fine. What else we got? What are we missing? We're missing number five, uh, number seven, and number eight. That's not an eight there, is it? No. And we could always just spam across, I guess. 25 in the present there. So we oh, there's a seven. There we go. So what does this give us? This gives us inhalers, which is good gift. But I'm, I generally eat the, eat the old um, nuts rather than rather than those. So what am I missing? I'm missing number five still, aren't I? And number eight. 20. Is that eight there? There's eight. There we go. What the heck is that? Snowball. Compressed dihydrogen monoxide crystals. Alternative alternative nobilis gamma. Okay. Okay, we'll have to see what that is then. I assume we're going to make them then. Uh, I don't know what numbers I'm missing. Have I done number? No, I've done seven, eight, five. I've not got five. I like this spiders creeping over the top here. That's <laughs> kind of good little hidden thing. Number five, can we see a number five? No, that's 15. Can't see number five. Let's have a look, see if we can give it a hint. A hint. Oh, oh, no wonder I can't see That's quite well hidden, that one. Oh, and then that gives me new unlock, customize a basic Fixma skin. Okay. Don't know what that means. Is that all the numbers? So we've got one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now ten was here, so oh, we can open ten. Oh, of course, it is the tenth today. Sorry. Fixmas Wonder Star. This special Fixmas Star signifies the productivity of Fixmas all across the universe. It also signifies the fact that you have nearly completed the holiday event, so it's time to get back to work. 
But then 11 presumably is locked, because that's tomorrow. Did I see 11? I did see it somewhere, but that's not it there, is it? No. So you presumably you say we can't open 11. Oh, date has not yet arrived and therefore no hint will be given. Mm. <laughs> cool, so there we go. So that was the bit I'd missed, really, uh, in terms of how this worked. Um, right, so we got a whole load of free stuff. So I guess I can put the them in there, because that's where they are. Um, I don't know what that means. What? All the fixmas on it smashed together to make even more fixmas decorations, okay. Now as I understand it, you decorate the trees with these things. But we wanna put I guess we wanna put that in a safe safe place. So we can put them away and them away. We'll put that in a safe place so I don't accidentally do something with it that um you know, undermines the event. Those got compiled with that. Right, so we should be able to use this red ornament for this next piece of research. We need 20 candy canes and 30 bows. Okay. 20 candy canes, 30 bows. Okay. So we do that. The analysis of giant Fixmas tree upgrade one is completed. Please choose a new node in a research tree to begin a new analysis. So that's the bundle. Oh. You better not cry. <laughs> you better not pout. I'm telling you why. Fixmas is coming to town. Well, there you go. <laughs> so we would need a gold, a copper Fixmas ornament, and an iron Fixmas ornament. So we can already do actual snow. It's snow, not the nice, thick, crunchy kind, no. More the disgusting, wet, slushy kind. I guess we can make stuff from it. Okay. Do you want to build it? You will finally have a friend. Disclaimer, it is not your actual friend. So we could do that. Got enough of them. That gives us 30 left and 45 left. So what about this? Oh, I see. This gives us... Oh, I would need to make 50 of the baubles. Okay. Can I even make them? I guess I must be able to. So if we get that set, set that one going. Oh, it's only three seconds. Okay. <laughs> the analysis of a friend is completed. Well, there you go. We then got. So I need, but that. Oh, oh, clicked on the wrong thing. That comes from there, doesn't it? Okay. So I need to make fifty of these. I've got fifty of them. I know. And then to make that one, I would need those, and then... I guess they're a copy or not, copper and iron. It must be that you mix copper and iron into the recipe. Okay. Let's stick this in here for safekeeping as well. And that. Now, how do I make... Is it presents? Let's get another one of these. On the go. Uh, oh, actually, there you go. So you can make snowmans. Can I? Where do I make actual snow then? I did unlock some of the things that you know I want. I want to get basically. So got various variations of these in here now. Well, it's not going to be under there for snow, is it? Must be made in one of the. Yeah, it must be made in a machine. In theory, we could make one of them. So what's this given us? Select recipe. Okay, so there's actual snow. Okay. So we need presents. Let's go and get presents then. How do I make the baubles then? They don't come out of the tree, do they? I know there's a thing where you can decorate the the trees. Let's just grab all of those bits. Um, 
Oh, I need to power this down. Uh, two. Oh, you've already got too many links, have you? Okay. Too many links. You up? Wait, do you think? Yeah. Uh, so we, if we put some presents, I don't actually know whether that's what that's used for. Unless it may be baubles and stuff for a different recipe that occurs to me. So if I put them in there and let that chunk through, uh, a different recipe, different machine. They're not made in assemblers or something, are they? No. How do I make them then? What about a manufacturer? No. How do I make them then? Hmm. So. Oh! It's acquired some candy canes by the looks of it, this tree. Don't remember them being on before. So how do I? I don't know. It's decorated by roasting the fish all over a nam tree. But where do I get baubles from? Because I've done that research, haven't I? Or am I being done? Unless we buy them in here. Can't see why we would buy them in here. What about, does this tell me where to make them? No. It's a bit weird that you can't hand make any of the... Yeah. I am confused. Christmas holiday event. So how do you make them? We need to put 50 baubles in. Where do we get 50 baubles? Here's for making Christmas dish. Standard recipe. Oh, you can... What? Juicing smelter. Oh, okay. Okay. I guess that would make sense if it's iron and copper. Okay, okay, okay. Smelter. Let's chuck a couple of smelters in then. What the look? Ah, red ornament requires gifts. Okay. So we're smelting gifts? That's a bit weird. That's a bit sort of contextually weird. Uh, okay, so we need to get a load of presents. Oops, a load of presents in these. So we needed three, I think, didn't we? We get two out, though. Out of... Alright, so one gift becomes two ornaments. That's a pretty good ratio. Uh, so if we just put 50 in, that gives us like 100 ornaments, doesn't it? Uh, so put 50 in there. Looks like they're pretty slow, though. Well, rel you know, relatively speaking. And then if we put another... 50 in there. What I do want to do is sort of while this is chunking away uh, is do a bit of the upgrading. Sort. Because um, I need to... This isn't chunking through very quickly because, you know, all the production is very slow. And I think I'm just going to upgrade because I've got loads of these now, I think. Um, the beams. So how many do you actually need? We need... Oh, that requ that does require 50. But then this is the one that's... Oh, no, that's 200 then. Okay. So obviously we're going to then need to switch them up for copper. I don't know if you re-smelt the baubles, maybe, to, with copper and iron, or it's just present plus copper and iron sort of thing. Okay. Um... Yeah, let's go, and, let's go and check to make sure I do have lots of, um, 
whatever he calls them, reinforced lads. Oh, I did also, I set this, I added this on here, look. They don't have anything in the moment, but, so there's all my sort of junk in there. Um, but this was because we got, like, entire chests worth of circuits. Um, and they're not, they're not that great to stick in the um, sink, but, you know, compared to some other stuff. But, so we've got literally chests of them. What happened there? There we go. Literal chests of them, so... Are you that? No, you're a copper. Yeah, why I've been stockpiling that amount of stuff for everything, I don't know. It's just... It's like a Factorio hangover, I think. Um, especially, you know, it comes from that melon... There you go, so you've got... Chunking out of here. Yeah, see, they've got loads... I mean, it's not, it's not full, obviously, but, you know... I don't need that many to upgrade everything. What, I could, what we can also sort out is the whole auto save incoming is the whole um, screws situation because I've got sort of so many. So basically, this this one is supplying like almost all the screws and is almost empty. But then this one is only supplying them right up the top. Um, so essentially, in fact, we, we could start. We might as well start down the bottom, really. So I'm just thinking I upgrade kind of everything. To, I mean, it's not the max level now, but whatever it is, level three belt. Oh. That door's on the wrong side. Why are you not? And that one's on the wrong side as well. What the heck's happened there? Obviously never never replaced them. A bit weird. I'm on the wrong level, aren't I? What a Oh god. Um What else did I do? I I boosted up all the, I think I did that last time though. Boosted up all the oil production, basically. So you see we've got... That's empty. And that's basically full. So what we can do... Is kind of add them in. Here, I think. So if I put a... So if I put a... No, nope, wrong one. No. Nope. Merger. In here. Like that. Oops, and then I can take this out of here, up to here, nope, too high, there, and then take that over to there, and start chucking some in there. It's not very good, because obviously, <laughs> effectively what I'm doing is I'm going to drain all of this, because it's also obviously full here, and then this is empty. Um, effectively, I'm going to drain this out and then have none for either of them, <laughs> That's because the train system's a bit, you know, underpowered, as it were. Right, so, yes, we want to just go round and find any that aren't sort of high level. Which is probably going to be most of them. I think those are... Oh, no, 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 have I just put... I think I've just swapped that out. Should That was already, like, max level, I think. I'd already set this to level four, I think. Is that right? Yeah, you see, they're level four. So that should all be now. Correct. Put that there. That one's fine if that's five. So are you. Yeah, they're all at max level already. I'm just gonna. So I'm just gonna upgrade these. Most of these aren't actually connected. And you see the ones that are I've probably already done, but so it's just easier to go around and do them all. Now, don't really need to upgrade anything. These ones, these should all be working already. What about you? You're okay. And then this is all okay. This is that. This probably needs some tweaking. So, yeah, okay. Like, like so, so. 
Yeah, I'm trying to oh, oh, almost get away from a, the mindset of trying to conserve stuff because you just have infinite resources with this. Obviously, you got to set everything up to extract it and build it and all that sort of stuff, but um, you know, you've got access to infinite amounts of stuff. So cons being conservative with everything is is kind of pointless when you think about it. Uh, let's go. I wonder if I can reach it all from here. Is this all? Because I think that's already level. Yeah, that's the next one up, isn't it? So I don't really need to do anything with it. Yeah, so we want to upgrade all of these to lift threes. Can I reach you? And then this means everything going in. That's what you see, that's the screw one that's already maxed out level. But it's, I've got max level lift, but then I say one other connection to where I've already done. But So it's only one that's connected there, so it's sort of not really working properly. Should we go and get, let's go and get some more presents. Oh! In fact, let's get that one, if we can. Nope, too high up, are you? Okay. Uh, let's do that. And jump over the belt, because that's exactly what I wanted to do. Nope, too high. Um, oh, let's just leave that one. I'll go get these ones. Sat on the plateau. I've been trying to think what I want to do with streams, because winter's always a good time, I find, to sort of plan things out and stuff, because you're obviously a bit more housebound, as it were, and, you know, um, just automatic. Oh, there's one coming right, right down there. Is that going to land next to that one? You know, even, even without a global pandemic, even inside. But, um, But yeah, so I'm trying to think what I want to do and where, uh, you know. Because but this this and Dyson Sphere program have gone on a long time in terms of time. You know, I've been doing them for months and months and months. But we're not actually, I've not actually done that many streams. And there have been bits on both of them where I have done chunks off stream. But most of my time went into, into the old mega base. Um, so I've been trying to think how long do I want to keep doing these series for? I mean, I want to finish, obviously. I want to get all of the tiers done. So it would be... No. That one. You know, I want to get them done from that point of view. Let's just connect... I'll say, I'll just do all of these. I'm not going to do these belts, though, because that's a bit pointless. But I'll just connect all these, because I don't know what, what's going where, really. already done I guess cool and that one lovely yeah there's a sort of thing with satisfactory that's more about time you know because you've got lots of processes to go through to get through to higher level gear um, and so the, the resource that's limited is time in a sense you know how much time are you going to spend oh can't afford Oh, it's because it's steel. Okay. Oh, right. So, that's steel. Oh. I thought that was that. But that's that level. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Okay. How much of that? So, I've got some of that in here. I've got them confused, basically. I thought this was level level 3, but it's not. It's level 4. Okay. We might not have as much of that, then. But then I could always turn it all into level 4, I guess. On that one. I don't think there are any on this side, are there? I 
Oh my god, look at all these presents. Let's go and get some of these then. Uh, so we'll have to go and see how much steel plate I've actually got. I suspect not a lot because the encased ones use steel. So if I've got lots of them, then I've actually got not so much. Unless it's all backed up. Yeah, I don't know that learning things is something I quite like. As in, I like like the designing stuff, like in Factorio and things like that. That's quite fun, but um, to do on stream. But trying to learn how things work is a bit less interesting for me. Right, so this is the copper thing. So it's not here, is it? Where's the? So things like um, messing about trying to make new new factories and stuff. I'm not sure that's... Is that door? Yeah, that's on the wrong way around as well. I thought it went around and replaced all these, but I guess not. So I don't... So are you... Because you're steel beams, aren't you? Where are they, then? Because it's these, you see, and that's... The fact that that's not full suggests to me that perhaps... Oh, they right down on level one, aren't they? Are they? Oh, of course, yeah. That's that level, isn't it? Okay. Uh, let's go down there then. Oh, I'm doing it on the copper level, aren't I? Okay. Okay. Has this got anything in? No. So you're making pipes, you see, and you're making beams, and the beams are going in there, but the beams are all being turned into these boys and other things. Okay, let's level four it, or level whatever it is, level five it all then. So if I uh, change that to six and then if we make the it would be merger then would it as eight maybe and then you can be number would that be zero yeah okay so we actually want everything to be the next level up then okay oops Okay, I was not anticipating that. Wait. Didn't need to do that. That was the wrong one. Oh, it's fine. I'll leave that one. I'm on the wrong level again. Okay. The very old banging. I think it's the bloody neighbours again. As soon as I get out of here, the better, to be honest with you. Uh, right, so, we'll make all of this level 4, then. Sounds like someone tapping on the wall, basically. But, like, in a randomised way, not... A do I need to do all of this? Probably not. Oh, well, they? You know, they're not, not hammering as such, they're just tapping. Get that quite a lot. The uh, I think it's kids, basically. I think it is the kids. Right, I'll leave it where it goes into the machines, though. Not much point upgrading that, I don't think. That one. That's coming in from there. I have one the other week. It's clearly somebody. There's like must be some hard service over there, and they were. Uh, 
You know, like when you drop something like a ball bearing or something on a, I don't know, a stone floor or something like that, and it bounces, but no. Where to put it? Um. Sort of non elastic way. Or basically, you know. Oh. You drop it and it bounces like three times, you know, it doesn't doesn't bounce a lot. And they were clearly just dropping one of those on some hard surface. Because you could hear it rattling through the wall. Thankfully they're there at school most of the time, so I don't get too much too much disturbance usually. Although well, they've clearly got really poorly fitting doors. Because, um, are we out? Yeah. Might not actually have enough to do this. Because it's actually quite expensive, this stuff. Uh, right, so if we put some of those back, and I guess I could put them away because we're getting them as extras. Now we'll go around and do these ones. And then we'll have a look at how we're doing with presents. Uh, not presents, baubles. Should be done by now, I think. Cool, let's have a look at the baubles. Yep, so we've got 50 of them. 100 of them. Got my maths wrong somewhere. One gift gives two. Got my maths wrong somewhere there. But I think we only need 50 for the first bit of research, don't we? Is it 50? Yep. But I'm going to need more of the red ones then. Now it says a Fixmas tree gift. Tri Fixmas gift tree is completed. Please choose a new node in the tree to begin a new analysis. So as I understand it, that gives me tree uh, gifts automatically. I don't have to. Um, oh, I don't have to go around and collect them. Then is my understanding. So we would need two hundred and two hundred. So that's my understanding. What we'll do though is we'll put another. In the red one, we'll put. So this makes. Oh, it's it's because that's one to one, and the other one's one to two. Okay. Okay. So we'll put fifty in there. And get equal numbers. Come on, come on. No, no, no. I think you can just type it in, can you? Oops. You can just type it in, or you can actually hit the wrong button. Let's just do that. And then can we get one? Okay. You made that painful, game. You made that painful. Right, so I get 50 of them. Let's go and have a look and see what these tree of gift fixmas thing, whatever it's called. Fixmas gift tree. It comes, but it comes wearing gift. Produces fifteen gifts a minute. You see, so I could make a few of those, and then I don't have to bother going and picking them up. The game of whack a mole ends, but we would need fifty more branches, and then twenty and twenty of the gold and the uh, iron, not gold, the copper and the iron. So what's the recipe? Is it in here? No, it's not in here. Is it in here? So that's the branches. Let's look at this one. No, it's not in here. Oh, it's not going to be in the smeltery, is it? Oh, I guess it would be, because if it's... It's going to be in the foundry, isn't it? Because we're going to smelt presents and... Something else. Copper. It's going to be in here. Oops, that was in the wrong place. Oh, 
So is it going to be in here? Yeah, here we go, you see. So your copper ones are red and copper. Your iron ones are blue and iron. Okay, but ingots. That's interesting. Is this ingots as well? That's ingots as well. Then. Okay, okay. I get you. I see what you're doing there. Right. Uh, didn't connect. Brilliant. Now I had 50 of the blues, did I not? I did. So this will make, I don't know how many of this will make. Wait, I needed, for the, for the trees, I need iron and copper, don't I? Yeah, 20 and 20, okay, okay. So, we need iron ingots, which I bet I've got like a million of. Stacked up in these machines. No, nope, wrong ones. Oh no, wait. We're not going to have any iron ingots here. Because iron is processed over at the other factory. We're going to have copper. We're not going to have iron though. Oh, why are you backed up in that way? That's interesting. Um, oh. Yeah, you see, I don't have... Okay. I don't have any iron being processed here. I've got steel. But not iron. We could take a trip over to the other factory. You know, hop on the train. So if we pop uh, copper in there. And are you done? Some of those, at the very least. Get some of those cooking. We are also going to need, was it an extra one? Extra ones of these. So that's present. So how many do I get? It's one to one, isn't it? So if I've got 250 in, that gets me loads of them. So we need to take a trip over to the other factory. Um, let's do the them first. You know, these ones here, if we can do them all. I was just trying to think if I did have have any, but I don't. Oh, what am I doing? I might have some junk ones, but I think I chucked them all into the awesome sink, basically. Can't af really can't afford. Wow. Okay. A lot more expensive than you think, then. I mean, they are huge. Right, let's go and see how many we've got in the old thing. Because I would quite like to at least have the lifts finished. Because that's one of the way. That's one of the points where they are starving. And we've got the, the side ones and the end ones to finish off. So we need kind of as many... Is this beams, I think? This might be beams. Here we go. So we'll grab all of them. And then we can at least try and finish, you know, these ones. They're on the side here. And the ones on the end. But yeah, trying to think what I might stream. And I, I was a bit sort of... Because I was thinking... This is hopping back to another <laughs> thinking point. You're already done. You know, um, I would quite, you know, almost quite like to end the series in, in not too many streams sometime in the new year. Um, and then, but then I was thinking, but what would I stream instead? Because. <laughs> 
I'd either have to start doing games that I'm sort of less comfortable streaming. There we go. So, oh no, there's one over there as well, isn't it? Or I need to find a game that I am comfortable with streaming. But the other, I mean, I could do. I don't think he's here, but I could do um, Ark. But the sort of problem. It's not a problem. But one of the things with this channel is it's. Uh, how would you put it? Not that it's for kids, but it's marked as age safe, if you see what I mean. You know, it's not intended to stream. You know, it's for for, for anyone can watch. I don't, I, I do my absolute damn <laughs> damn this. That's ironic. Uh, yeah, I try not to swear, and you know, it's not don't have crude content or anything like that. But that also means the games need to be age safe. They need to be age appropriate. Um, and I'm not hundred percent sure that Ark is within that because it's like. Teen plus, basically, I think. And I'm guessing that's because of the poop through throwing mechanic. Well, it's also quite obviously violent in a sense. I mean, not it's not that violent, but not in the grand scheme of things. But yeah, it's like a 13 plus game. Um, where's the train? Ooh. Which you know, I think should be okay. But I'm not entirely sure what the rules are on ages. Uh, for the, you know, for the various... Because obviously, I mean, Dyson Sphere program, this... Oh. That was dumb. If they're not you, you know, as in anyone can play them, I can't see why they wouldn't be. Because what, what is there in this game that... And, and Dyson Sphere Program and Factorio... I mean, I suppose technically there's violence in them. But it's, you know... There's no blood, there's no... Oh, it's because I'm falling off of the rail track rather than... I'm not jumping on the edge like I think I am. I was just going to try and get that present, basically, because... Can I jump on? No. No, missed. Thought, thought I might have to jump on there, but no. I'm making a bit of a meal of this, but... But yeah, so I, I don't know that Ark... I can stream it on this, on Twitch? I don't know. I'll have to investigate, basically, and see... Because, from what I can tell, I mean, it may just be the time of day that I stream or something, or the time of day that I'm looking at Twitch. There aren't that many sort of, you know, channels marked. Oh, come on. Let's just build a platform over there. Channels marked, you know, family safe, as it were. Just like full stop. I don't mean that in the sense of these types of games, but I think most people who stream are adults and they perhaps anticipate swearing, but it also lets them stream, you know, games with higher ratings, you know. Not that I do it for that reason, it's just, um, where is this train? Oh, it's coming here again. But it was taking a while. So let's, let's just, let's just do the sensible thing. Build an extra platform there. Jump across. <laughs> I made such a meal out of that. Wow. Just to get, what, it's like 10, 10 gifts or something? Where's this train? Come on. Yeah, trainy, 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 trainy. I could have driven over there by now, couldn't I? <sighs> I 
Ich habe mir ja besser hier, ne? Yeah, so there's that. I could start series now. Again, it's one of those games. It's not a game I'm very unfamiliar with, um, and I wouldn't want it re to replace a Factorio stream. I still want to do that weekends. The other option is I just stop streaming on Fridays and Mondays. On this Friday stream, just I try and hide the figures so I don't worry about them. But I don't know, so I don't know if there's anyone watching or not. <laughs> no, it's great if you are. Hello, <laughs> hope oh, you're enjoying it. But um, I think my audience isn't around at this time, particularly. Oh, my regulars, as it were, aren't generally around at this time. Well, come on, you're not going to take that long to load up, are you? So I don't know that this is a good slot. Set Dice and Sphere program does really well on when I look at the stats afterwards. I mean, for me, you know, we're talking half a dozen people watching, but it's half a dozen people watching, whereas this, I do plenty of streams where nobody watches, which isn't a big concern for me as a general thing, but it's like... If there's no audience there, I might as well just play whatever I want to play, you know, irrespective of that, that concern. See, it's loading just about everything on. I don't think I'm really using rubber, which I, is why it's not unloading that. I assume that the fact that it puts it half in and takes it out again means that it half empties it. I don't think it only empties it if it's completely empty. We'll have a look when we, we when we stop, if we can. I don't think we can actually because it immediately because once it's locked into the animation cycle, you can't actually open it. Interesting. But yeah, I sort of um so I'd quite like, you know, I wanna I wanna keep I'm gonna keep both you know, both would be going for a while, but it's whether I really kick into gear and um make you know, play it play both of them as much as I can off stream. Or whether I just keep going with them and you know, they are what they are sort of thing. But as I think it's become obvious to anyone who has been watching these I get bored. If I play, I mean, I like, I do like long games. I like in-depth games. I like, you know, these construction games. But if I'm playing them too long, I sort of get a urge to restart. And it's one of the reasons I always urge people on Reddit, on Factorio's Reddit. The, you know, new players, they'll come on and say, you know, keep restarting. And that, my advice is always just to push through. And part of that is because I, I have that feeling as well. Of, well, I, if I restart, then I can do a bit of a factory, you know. This is really loud, isn't it? Sorry for that. Sorry for the volume levels. But, um, yeah, I have that feeling as well. And that's why I say to just push through, because I know from experience that that's, that's what I have to do. But I say, it's, do I push through on these series? And, you know, because we've only got the two things left, but there's a lot of material production to, to do them. And then once it's done, it's all unlocked, and the series could flip more into a, you know, let's make an attractive factory, let's make a factory that looks like a factory, let's, you know, do some optimum builds, and da 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 da, because you know what your, you know, your ratios are, and all that sort of stuff. So we could sort of change this, and I say, now that it's getting into my head that you don't have to conserve materials in this. Completely real bit rebuilding shouldn't be is part of the game really. Right, if I hop out, can I see what's going on here before it No, you see. See it locks the animation, locks you from getting in. Which makes sense, because it could go a bit wobbly, couldn't it, if if you chucked it in while it was doing stuff.
Yeah, let me see. All right, so that's nowhere near a thing that it's empty, does it? So it obviously just does half chests. And I bet this is empty, empty. Yeah, you see? You see? Eventually it'll start eating through all of this, though, because, you know... Because uh, we've, you know, split them. I should have done that in the first place, really. Right, so what I'm here to do is just grab some iron. And then, I've, and then I'm here to realise that the train's gone. And I don't really have a quick way of getting back again. Because I'm not in the car. Who's the genius who did this then? Who's the genius who did this? Uh, two options then. We can make our way back on foot. It's not that far. But we'd have to deal with some beasties. Or we could get it to spawn some presents over here. And grab them. Oh no, I'm not, you know, I'm sort of that fussed about <laughs> making much progress in these, you know, last few streams. It's sort of a, almost a winding down for the end of the year thing. I say, I want all the stuff, all the cool stuff, before I really do any big, big builds. Oh, we got some beasties, some unhappy. Where are you? Anyway. Is there another one? There's usually more than one. No? Oh, I didn't check the novelist thing, did I? What are you guarding, then? I don't know. They're normally guarding something, but I don't see... Unless it's just that... Limestone or something. Hmm. Odd. Is it not going to spawn any presents? No. Hmm. Oh, it's a yellow slug on there. Okay. Oh, blue slug there as well. Let's go and get that. Oops. Let's not fall down the cliff while we're doing that, though. Oh, no, 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 no. Nothing. Fell off anyway. Oh, there we go. There's a present. Obviously, it takes a little while for it to spawn them in, I guess. Uh, right, let's have another go at that. And let's not jump over. If we do that. Oh! I slid off. Okay. It's the same thing again. Just build a platform. Just, just build a platform. Not walls, foundations. See? Just build a platform. Then you can get across. No problem. See? See? It's not difficult. Uh, right. Yeah, it obviously clearly takes a few minutes for it to work out where you are and start spawning presents. Where's the train? Train's over at the other thing, so it won't be too long. The trouble with walking back is we'd have to go through all that area where there's all those bugs uh, along the coast. Um, uh, and there's a lot of them. And they're obviously not that difficult to deal with. But can get swamped fairly easily. Can I get that one? Not sure if it's not up in a tree. Oh, it's one there. But yeah, we're sort of. We'll try and set up. When we get back, we'll have to run this iron for a bit. But we'll try and set up some of these automatic present producing trees. Oh. No? What's. Is that too, too st steep then? 
Okay. Uh, and then I can kind of not bother <laughs> about picking them up. Because uh, I'm not fussed about having tons of onion or ornaments or anything. Um, I just sort of want to unlock it all, really. Oh, here it comes. Is the train coming? Yeah, we'll get it all unlocked. Um, is my goal. Really. And then, as I say, I've seen there's some sort of fairy lights. And they look fairly pretty. Um, but I can't see having a load of Christmas trees sort of sat around being my bag really um ooh, could i go and get that no wouldn't have time it would be nice to be able to do a bit like victorio mod with this i'm sure there is a mod that they should do it but do actual sort of landscaping and here it comes. You know, build trees and stuff. Because one of the things I'm planning with the Factorio build is to try and have areas that look like, like almost like a reception area. Something along those lines, conceptually. So it'll be a walled off area. Um, you know, that you can kind of walk round in um, and we'll put trees around it and stuff. I have, it has occurred to me on that series though that, and it sort of makes sense thematically but I think what I'm going to do well, it's occurred to me that um, if I start putting down trees for decorative purpose pollution is going to kill those trees and that would either mean I have to keep picking them up, or we have to just accept that dead tr dead trees are our thing. Um, an option with it is to uh, basically download a mod that like um, eats pollution, so like um, has some device slash machine um, that actually you know processes the pollution, um, and then it's sort of it's slightly cheaty in that. Obviously that's not, you know, that means we could use it to stop biters getting angry and stuff like that. But if we use it more as to clean up some of the pollution on some of the factories um, so that we can plant trees, then, I mean, and they have power costs and stuff like that, so they're not free, I don't think. <coughs> um... Yeah, so and we do that, and then we and and what I'm thinking is we have different types of factory in that the dirt we'll have some dirty, filthy oil processing factories, and their dead trees will be the thing because it, it's you know it's meant to be the horrible, nasty you know old school pollution factory you know type of thing, um, and then we'll have some high tech factories which produce like circuits and stuff like that, and that's meant to be like clean industry. Um, and the way they're doing that is by using these pollution eaters to clean up the pollution, which of course is then you know, higher power cost to those factories. It means they look sort of sleek and you know modern. There's a limited amount you can do with um, you know the decorations, but I say we'll do that sort of. That's what we're trying. What I'm trying to achieve basically with that series. Um, and this, this game sort of lets you do it, you know, easier. It, what, I, what I think I ideally want <laughs> is a game that is a blending together of um, Factorio, Satisfactory and Dyson Sphere Program. I think that would probably be my perfect game. And if we're talking about that imaginary scenario... You know, you could play it maybe in both, uh, you know, first-person type mode and and a sort of a top-down designy mode. So it'd be like you could um, maybe Dyson Sphere program, but you can go inside the mech's head and view it in sort of first person, maybe. Um, but I think that one has the best, you know, 
in terms of that viewing the world designs, you know. Yeah. Um, I think that's one that works the best from that. I'm not. I like the first person in this, but it can get a bit weird. And whenever you see, whenever you watch these videos of people designing stuff, they're always using like the jetpack so that they can get a, a you know a third person you know distant view on things. Um, and there is like mods and stuff that make the jetpack basically, you know, the fuel will last longer and all that sort of stuff. Um, I should use it more, but I do really like the control scheme on it. Right, so we need to put some of these iron ingots in there and get some iron Xmas ornaments. Now, you've made all of my coppers. No, you haven't. Oh, that's because those are in there. Right, so I'll process those. Right, so I'll chuck these iron ingots in here. Out of the way. Then we will get rid of the stuff we just connect, co connected, collected. Where did slug go? Slugs are there. Carapaces are there. So we've got 17 copper. How many is it we need for a tree? Because that's not a lot. We need 20. We'll get 20 of each, I think, from what we're doing. We're going to need... These are quite expensive, actually. When you think about it. So we've got tons of them now. That's nearly finished as well. Now have we got? We've got four more of those. So we've got 20 of them now. Only six of them. Okay. Let's let that, let that chunk through. I think if, I, if I grab some more copper. Yeah, I sort of... I think I prefer the complexity level of... Um, Factorio to some degree. Um, and it has the best... Quality of life experience and uh, like it's tech, tech tree the most, I think. Um, things like the blueprinting stuff, and it's not, I don't think this is a reflection on the other games because they're a lot further, a lot newer. Let's have a look, see how many tokens we've made. Two massive, massive two, two, two tokens. Two tokens, wow. In what an hour of gameplay. So I need to upgrade it, obviously, so that it all flows in a bit. We can also go and chuck some circuits in the in in the thing as well. So that will fill up again. So now we've got six. How are we doing? Twelve. Right. So we're going to need a lot more of each ornament, aren't we? Okay. So let's stick. So this is one to one. So we'll do a hundred of them. Stick that in. But this one is one to two. So we'll put 50 of them in. Like so. Okay. So we need four more of them, but we've run out of blue ornaments. How have we run out of blue ornaments? Oh, because it's three to three to one. Blimey. Okay. Okay. So we need more of these. Uh, put fifty of them in more. No, let's put a hundred more in. So I'll chunk through them. That only gets me like two more irons, doesn't it? Wow. And we need four more. Okay. I more just want to see how the automatic Christmas Christmas automatic Christmas tree works. Uh, let's 
going to look see how many of them we got because we've not got too many more we could use all of these steel ones we've got in fact that makes sense doesn't it so we've got the most basic things upgraded to level four now i think or the we've got them upgraded as far as we can so if we then do level three yeah you see we've only made 30 more of them yeah okay we'll make we'll use these oops to upgrade you know the next set as it were as far as we can why are you on yellow because you've not got any steel beams okay right so uh we want that one don't think I need to upgrade in. I think I set them, you know, as best as they could be. But we'll zap some of these up to there. And then we want to do concrete as well. So that's more than it can handle. So we don't shouldn't need to do these ones because um, you know there's not enough machines to support higher belts really. But we can do these. I say some of this is oh that's already at the next level. Some of this is pointless in a way because. Um, a lot of these aren't connected. That's fine. There is a bit of belt in there. I cannot access it there. Oh, it's already upgraded. Okay. Okay, that's not a problem. Yeah. Take these back. Now, what are you being fed? You're being fed from here. Oh, is that already... Okay. That's already at that level yeah but only to there okay so we might as well do a bit more just to get it get it flowing there's got to be a bit of belt in there but i can't access it okay and i suspect the screws are already done as i say because i kind of already did that yeah, okay. So this level is done, as far as we can do it. How much is that? Oh, we got loads left, loads left. Okay. Those in fear program, I think my disappointment at the... Uh, one. At the... Um, issue with the blueprint, shall we say, is kind of palpable. <laughs> That's kind of uh, impacted that stream for a while now. Um, but I have, now that I've got quite a few of them done, I'm enjoying it a bit more and I've been doing cracking on. Um, basically, I've set up a lot of the planets to have um, production up to, um, what should we call it? Um, what does it call them? Motors? Engines? I can't remember what it calls them. They're, they're at that sort of level. No? Um, in fact, you know, they got turbines and things on. We don't really have enough bots to support it properly. But that's fine. Um, they're being chunked away and, and built. But I've also done some fixes for power and stuff. So that it's a bit more... A bit 
more, um, what the expression be, but more varied. So there's a bit of nuclear power on all of the planets, and they're all burning a bit of hydrogen and stuff. Ultimately, we need to get the sails on the go and stuff like that, so. Uh, and then. Sails meaning solar sails, obviously. You're already done. You are the pipes. But the things that in this game that I find a little bit frustrating is things like, you know, chest limiting. Why can't you limit chests? That just seems like such a rudimentary thing. Particularly since it gives you both small chests and giganto chests. You know? Seems a little counterproductive. Let's, if we upgrade, because basically these will all be empty. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, they'll be making it fair as quick as they can, but there's just sort of enough, not enough stuff. But we can just like do a cheeky little upgrade on this end. Oh, I've not even connected that one. Wait, didn't I already do that one? Oh, I've got the wrong thing. So not that these are probably connected to anything on the other end, but there you go. I oh, know we'll do we'll do the motors one later. So that's the motors coming up. That's four motors coming up that way. Feeding in there. Am I going to upgrade that? Oh, come on. Well, that was pointless. It's only got one of them. Oh, I've got the wrong thing again. Wait, what's coming in there then? That's an output. Oh, that's an output, but it's... Okay, fed in. Oh, I remember what I did. You know what you've done. And then, so I might as well make it even, even though it's a little bit pointless. Oh, I've done it again. Wrong belt time. Okay. So where does that one go? Oh, they literally just... I remember, because I was going to put loads of these in, and then there was just no way we were going to support it. We'd need entire sheds full of these materials. This doesn't even support, you know, this amount of production. What it can do is make sure the screws and stuff are being fed in. Which says that's kind of what I'm going for here. You know, that's as fast as they can go, really. Um, I, mean, I could boost some of these belts. It's like it's robbing Peter to pay ball type stuff, though. You know, there's not enough. For any of them, really. But what the heck? What the heck? You see that? That belt's empty now. Oh no, it's not empty. Oh right, there's stuff on it. Yeah, we're not making enough steel things. It's like the other 
I thought the main problem with that was because we weren't making steel, so we weren't making steel ingots. But actually, it's more fundamental. It's you know, the whole thing is just not off the scale required to support what I'm doing. Um, let's go and see how we're doing with the baubles. Yeah, it's been quite um, eye-opening, really, that this game, because you can you can play a heck of a lot of it um, without doing any kind of factories and doing everything small scale and miniature production. Because what can you see? I've got loads of iron nodes here, and I've obviously now got like oh, got loads of um, slugs and stuff. So I could overclock a lot of it. And we could get get this really producing material, but there's not the room. You know, we could put we could probably double this, maybe, maybe. But I'd have to rework all the belts. Um, so yeah, but it's been a bit of I say a bit of an eye opener. You know, sort of how much uh, stuff you need, basically. So, if I've got these, I've only got two. So, if we put in, say, another. I'm wary about putting them all in, is basically the thing. Because that sounds like a recipe for disaster. Uh, right, so I've already got 20. So, if I put. So, this is like two to one, isn't it? So, if we put. Say. Uh, some in there. And that gets us a few. I just want to get one so I can see how it works, really. Is that it? So I can do one now? Because, say, if it gives us present automatically, what does that mean? I don't, I don't really understand. Uh, let's just put it here. Come on. What does it mean? For it to do oh, generate trees automatically. Oh, it's got an output, look. <laughs> That's what it means. It means it sticks them on a belt. Okay. Does it need powering? No. Well, that's a relief. So if I put... Oh, right, so literally... <laughs> that's a bit weird. Okay. So what we could do... I mean, I guess we'll probably end up with two or three of these. So maybe if we... So I'm not I say I'm not gonna do this in any kind of any kind of volume or anything. So if we do merger and then we maybe pop this here and then we just have a, a container like so and then we put that in there. Oh it's too close. Why did you why did you give me the green line? If it didn't work, eh? Hey, that's not lined up again. What are you doing, game? Let's just plop it over here. Green lines be darned. Is it that was going to green line, but it wasn't lined up? I don't know. I don't know. Is that enough? Does it need to be... Oh, okay. Can I see how many... It said 15, didn't it, in the description? 15 gifts a minute. So, belt-wise... Oh, that takes 60. So we can have four, and we're not even going to go above level one belt. Let's chuck them in there, then. Get them out of my inventory. So in order to do four, I would need quite a lot more things. But the question I've really got is the research side of it. Because I've completely forgotten. So I've got, I've got one. Oh, I need 200. Okay. That's a lot. Okay, and is that 
Yeah, we need. We would need. I don't know what's in the next tier. Okay. So, if I just split, if I just take the presents I've got, which is about two hundred, that's perfect. And I'll just split them, basically. I think. So I'll put off. Oh no, that's snow. I don't want, don't want any snow. I don't really even understand what the snow is. So that's red baubles. I'll put you in now. Blue balls. I'll put you in now. We might as well put all of these in like that, and then. Top both of them up with ingots and ingots. Put them away. Right, and let's spend our tokens. Oh, we've got one more. One more. Oh. Yeah, I wish I'd known that was um, a bigger thing, as it were. Right, so, what can we do? Let's have a look. So, want these, but less important than the other stuff. Walls, we've got we've got 18 tokens, so we could do 5, 9, 11, 14. So we could unlock all of those. Ooh. And I still haven't done the level 2 ones. That's all done. Don't care about those for now. That's all done. Equipment and parts are fine. So it's customizer would be the other area we want to spend money on. Okay, the customizer. So we might as well. Oops, we might as well get all of these, and then I've got and say then I'm happy basically. Then I've got all of the fundaments to build factories that I want to build. Basically, that's the that's the thing I've been going for. That's what I've meant about unlocking it all. We could also now just do that one, just finish that off. So there's the organisation. You know, I do want these, but I'm not as fussed about having lights and stuff. The sign sounds really useful. Being able to put on containers what they've got in them. And like levels and stuff, you know, go up stairs and that tells you what's on that level. Uh, sounds hugely useful, but it's more cosmetic, really. So we've got, yeah, but basically we've got all of the walls, attachments, and foundation. Have I got all the attachments? Yeah, walls, fact, attachments, and foundation. So that will let me build factories, even if I then have to come and make them look pretty later on, sort of thing. I mean, obviously I could build factories before, but. Build factories, you know, and like these, I've now got all of the different types of catwalks and all that sort of stuff. Excellent. These two, as I say, I, you know, I, will I ever do any of these? I might build, you know, I might buy some of these for the researches. But yeah, it's then these lot and these lot. So what would we need? We would need another 7, 10, 11... Wow, 21, 23, 28, 30. So all of those cost 30, that's a lot. <laughs> but then we've got 5 and 4 there, 9. I won't count them. 9. So it's uh, 39, basically, isn't it? And then that's another 10, so 49. So I would need another 50 tokens to um, unlock all the sort of more cosmetic side of things. I am right with that, aren't I? I can make... Oh no, I can't make roofs, can I? So it calls it... Con Is that right? No, that can't be. 
None of those are roots. It's in foundations. No. Oh, right. So it just counts roots as cosmetic things. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. Fix it, roofs. There you go. So this is just to make them look like different materials, basically. Okay. So we need another 50 tokens to make be able to make prettier looking factories. It's quite expensive, but fine. Right. So, let's keep going. What did I press there? Let's keep going. No. What am I looking for? There we go. How much stuff have I got? So I got some of them. We've stacked up a load of iron plate. Okay. Um, I might just chuck this in. In fact, I go on then. Let's do it the other way around. So if we chuck this in, this chest to the side. In fact, put the screws in. Might just grab them. If we're doing more upgrading, so let's just put a load of them in there, and they'll have a tiny contribution to the um, what should we call it? The uh, token. Every little counts. It looks like what people do is when they have like a factory. Um, if they can't, if they either don't want to or can't get the numbers to balance easily, you know, say there's, then you want a small factory making screws or something, and it ends up with a load of stuff left over, because as I say, in this game, saving that leftover stuff doesn't really have any benefit. They stick it in awesome sinks and they have loads of awesome sinks. Wait, is this screw? What level's this? What level is this? Here you go, you see, Steins would be really useful. Oh, I've gone up too far, haven't I? Is it next one down? What are you doing? Yeah, you're doing... Wait. Did I upgrade the motors before anything else? I've already done these. I think I was on some high level where I shouldn't have been. Yeah, I've not upgraded these. Oh, no, no, that's that level, isn't it? Yes, I have done that one. Did I skip a, a couple of levels? I've already done them. Oh, dear. So what level belt are you? You're not that. You're not that. So I haven't done this level. Okay. But this is already at max level. Okay. As is that. What about the cable side of it? Yeah, that's already maxed out. Okay. Okay. Next level. For some reason, I seem to have gone up to the motor level, which is actually fairly high up. Don't matter, we'll get them all in the end. So they're already done. What about this? This is already done. Okay. This is already done. Yeah, it looks like I just skipped out, skipped over the. Like copper level, at uh, the cable level, rather. Okay. Oops. Right. I already did this, didn't I? Oh, we got a person that's just landed on a roof, I think. Yeah, this is all done. Because that is the motors, isn't it? Yeah. I think. Must be. Must be. Must be. Can't possibly not be. Now, what are we on? What are you? You're making. Oh, modular frames, okay. We're nearly at the top then. Okay. So let's uplift all of these. 
This looks like it's stuck. Does that mean I've got that? Oh, no. No, it's just not using that end. Okay. But why have I got a one of them? You know, why have I got an industrial one? Because that'll, that'll use up an enormous amount of material. Or hold, or not. I could do with some kind of better... I know they do look different. In terms of... I suppose I should be applying it, really, shouldn't I? But the sides of the belts are different, and the lights and stuff. But it's not a massive difference. And some sort of Factorio-style colour coding would be helpful, but then I think I'm supposed to be colouring them in, as I say. Um, you do you. Oh, let's just do all of this stuff. We're getting into the territory of it being a bit more Heath Robinson. You know, thrown together. Because these are the. whatever it calls them. Automated control units or whatever. Whatever the game calls them. Is it worth? I don't think these are actually being used up there. So we could chuck a load of them in the awesome sink. Because I mean, what you have, what you what you do instead of what I'm doing, because I'm playing like a, a silly Factorio person, is you have overflows going into, and these are not really going anywhere either. Overflows going into um, awesome sinks rather than. No chests. Let's make them just because that's what we've done everywhere else. We'll make them like that. Just because. And now all of their inputs are max level. And that's fine. So machine wise, you're getting plenty. Aren't you? Something sounds like it's winding down. just slow. So you've got tons of stuff, you see. Which they would have, because it's all banked up. But this is the sort of thing, did you see that? It's got 200 steel beams in there, so no wonder I've not got any steel beams anywhere else. And that's why I think, you know, you sort of make dedicated factories is the better way to go, and then you can use, like, um, smart filters and stuff to do overflowing production but having a factory that produces things you know with the idea that you'll use everything I don't think works properly because there you go so I've got 100 of them and 200 of them just sat in a machine sort of doing nothing because it fills them it fills the machines up and it's a lot of stuff that it puts in a lot of stuff. Anyway, we should be basically at... I think we're, there's only one level left. Have I enough room? I think, which is the roof level. Yeah, here we go. So we do need to upgrade these as well. Certainly for the ones... That we should, well, do I need to bother? Let's have a look at what the machines are like. So... Now that everything is being fed up here as fast as we can. Yeah, there's tons of material there. Circuit boards is not so much for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. So we'll have an entire... There you go, you see, it's virtually full, though. So maybe we could boost circuit boards. But why are circuit boards... Oh, plastic! Oh, right, is that a fundamental supply issue? Oh, why is there no plastic at all? 
I guess that's because we're just not making it. Huh. I can actually, so I've boosted all the production of the oil things over there. So I can actually add on more plastic production. And we've got, as you can see, I've got loads of oil power to burn off the fuel. And I can easily add more in. You see, we've got tons and tons of computers, so I can make loads of of all of those things. Um, or we should have tons of computers. That's the heavy modular frames. Where are the computers? This is computers. There you go. So I've got... 250 computers, well, plus what I've got here, 350 computers, 325 computers. But yeah, so this is an issue with plastic, is it then? And plastic is just not... Wait, that's plastic there, isn't it? No, that's screws. No, oh, it's plastic. Why is plastic set on that belt? No, that's screws. What? Who's designed this system, eh? Who's designed this system? Somebody's dropped a present on my factory. Oh, there's plastic now. Oh, the train's just been and gone. The train's just been and gone. Okay, so we'll grab, we'll grab, oh, and another present. We'll grab um, a ton of those circuits. Well, I we can't get, grab a ton of them. <laughs> we can grab 200 of them. So we can put some stuff, I say, in that other chest so that it can just feed the rubbish into the awesome sink uh, and then come back and do this. But let's have a look, see. How are we doing with baubles and presents, etc? Wow, there's loads of them over there. Okay. Poor man's hypertube, these. Anyway, in theory, that should like boost the production of those like high level things because there's now the material being fed in until the point where um, we essentially run out of like raw production <laughs> because it's a, not a factory that can really support um, big scale production for very long right so let's get some of these chucked in here oh I grabbed a load of them didn't I there we go Excellent. Put some more of them in there. Cool. So we'll go and see how we're doing with baubles. 222, lovely. 35. 38. Where's the red ones? 112. So... If we put, so you're two to one, aren't you? So if we put a hundred of them in, like that, need to get some copper, and then we can put your three to one, so we can put, say, 150 in, that'll give us the same number. So we need to grab some more iron and copper. Put them in. Obviously, I guess if you were making a Christmas factory, you'd actually make a factory for this rather than hand feed it all in. But I say I just want to unlock it all more than actually make the stuff. Really. Right, so, can we make any more trees? No, because we lack presents. 
got 300 presents. What are you talking about? Right. More trees, please. So, if you go, you know, go there. Go there. Wait. What? Ah. <sighs> Can't afford seven short. Okay. Uh, seven short of what? It was branches, wasn't it? I thought I made a million branches. Clearly not. Uh, a few presents in there then. Because that's one to one, isn't it? In fact, I think it's a hundred, isn't it? Branches for. Where have they gone? There. Uh, 100 branches. So we need 7 more branches. So it's 1 to 1. So we just do 7 more uh, presents. Like so. And then that should get me 2 trees worth. Not that I really need. I'm only doing three, so but there's another one in case. So 28, 28 of both of those. I got 13 and 72, so we need a lot more red ones, I guess. Because we have 28 of them, 104 of them, so we need to put more presents in here, I think. So we've got 50 in. Cool. Right, so let's go. Oh, hello, Graham. You're right. Um, let's go and just grab some presents. Because uh, there are a load of them over here. Um, right. Hmm. How many has that got me? 187. I was a bit worried this might be bonkers as well. I mean, maybe it gets bonkers, I don't know. But I was a bit worried this might be... Because it's almost like a, I guess, a compre... Wait, there was a present over here, wasn't there? Yeah. There's one there. It was like a compressed version of the overall tech tree. And that maybe when you get to the last levels, it's like 10,000 presents for a, you know, for a single ornament or something. But it doesn't seem to be quite, quite that bad. Uh... Foundations. Ramp. Oh, it's neon soup. It is neon soup. Good, thanks you. Just started playing this again and it's all your fault. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hopefully you can learn from some of my uh, mistakes. I'd almost—it's almost been—it's almost felt like being a new player to the game, um, starting. You know, I, mean, I think I've explained this before that if I don't know, I have. Um, but you know, I didn't—I played it when it first came out, and then didn't play it again. Um, so updates one, two, three, four, and well, and now five, I guess, were all new to me. Um, so there was a lot about the game that was just new. I mean, obviously, you know, I've played a lot of these types of games, so the ideas of production chains and logistics chains and all that sort of stuff isn't conceptually new. But, uh, but yeah, I would say it has felt like being a, a new player. There's been so much to learn. Um, 
It's been fun. But um, I was actually saying earlier on, I don't, I don't think here, but um, how much, how long I want to stream this for, as it were. Um, do I want to start doing more, you know, more work between streams, sort of thing, to get things really chugging? Because I've done that, the Dyson Sphere. I've been playing that this week. Um, and we're a lot, I'm a lot. F I haven't I haven't done researches or anything like that. But the planets are a lot more exploited now. Um, it's a lot more stuff, and it shouldn't take as long before. So basically, next stream I'm I'm anticipating will be, if not making warpers, then making the things to make warpers, uh, and then it'll be the one after that where we can go off to some of the other planets, you know, other other solar systems, as it were. Um, So, and that's what I'm sort of hoping we'll kind of get to on Monday. And that's because I've done so much. If I tried to stream everything I'd done during the week, it would have been like four or five streams. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that's like a reflection of me. I'm just, you know, bad at these games type of thing. But it always seems to seems to take me a lot of time to do everything. Um, Fresh up my coal plant looks like garbage. <laughs> but I'm learning unlocking stuff in the awesome shop. Yeah, I mean that that was a big mistake I made. The um, the awesome shop is awesome, <laughs> uh, and I just left it. I didn't bother with it until like I think it was already at tier four. Um, and so, like for example, these things. Where are we? No, I haven't got any there. These are in the awesome shop and are so useful for taking things in and out of the factory. And I was leaving holes in walls and all this sort of stuff. And like the, I mean, this is obviously update five they've added this, but like the um, floor holes are really, really cool. You know, so this this that I've done, I, you wouldn't actually have to do, particularly if you're just taking things straight up to the next level and processing them. You can just use the, the floor holes. Or what well, now you can clip through if you just want, if you want to. But, um, you know, so they've added, some of the additions there are, are awesome in and of themselves but also there's so much stuff in there that is really useful I mean a lot of it's jokey obviously you know you got your you know your trophies and stuff it's you know I guess it gives people goals to work to to make big factories and stuff but it doesn't you know as far as I can tell unless it's part of the story eventually it's just a sink of material you know but you know, all of these attachments. I mean, these things, the wall wall things for the wall mounted conveyors, that's so useful. Um, I say, I, I just completely ignored the awesome shop. Um, it's like I say, I thought it was all jokey stuff. I thought it was all, you know, like the, like this factory cart thing. I thought it was all silly stuff like that. Um, yeah, I mean, that was a bit of a mistake. How are we doing? So we've got two more. Let's get, get them, let's not grab them. And the other thing I would say is, is in terms of that, get some production change set up that just stick stuff in the awesome shop because they're so useful, some of these things, particularly the lower level stuff, um, that just unlock them with, you know, just chuck coal in it sort of thing. Because, um, say, another, another thing that's kind of taken me a long time to get my brain around is the fact that, you know, resources are unlimited in this game there is no you know limited amount of coal or anything it's just coal patches and you can you know stick overclock them and get loads of stuff out of them it's not how long it takes this a journey <laughs> and the cup yeah i mean i like you know i'm not so i'm not again you know i don't want it to sound like i think the um you know it's a bad thing as it are you know i think that's one of the things i I'd like about the game, and I'm keen for them to add um, more of the sort of story stuff and the silly stuff. But uh, as I say, I thought the awesome shot was just—I thought it was just a gag, basically—and um, it really isn't. Um, right. So what we can do is we can stick some of these presents in. In fact, let's have. Well, I mean, I don't understand this snow, and I have I got any? Let's do that, because it's only about five minutes or so to go. Um, if I chuck... 
five to two, isn't it? So if we put, say, a hundred in. Oh, I see that making so I think it gave me some. Oh, I didn't test the snowballs, did I? This, no, it didn't give me any snow. So, apparently you use these with uh, this thing? Maybe I have to get rid of the ones I'm carrying? Because that's the detonator. So if I put them away, then that should be all of that. Now, do you fight? No, you can't put them in. All right, so you put them in there. Oh, it's already got one loaded. Okay, let's go and blow something up then. Can I blow them up? Oh. <laughs> no. No. Okay. Now, if I reload... Oh, have I misunderstood that then? It was in here, wasn't it? Snowballs? No? No, it was in the thing, wasn't it? Unless it's ammo for the gun, is it, maybe? Did I misread that, then? Let's chuck the ammo away. Get rid of... Not got anything to shoot. Um, oh, it's just... So if I reload... No? I was sure it said it was for the novelesk. It said I'm sure it said I'll turn I'll turn it ammo for the novelesk. Alternative. I'll use G to swap. Okay. Okay. There we go. G to swap. No. Ah. Now, is it an explosive thing? Is there something useful I can blow up? Let's get rid of this rock, if I can. Oh, it is. It's like... It's just a snow version of explosives. Okay. That's kind of cute. Um... I wonder if I can... Because these things have like gigantic health bars, don't they? These tick lads. No. Obviously doesn't stick to them. Can I pick that up? No. Okay. I guess it'll just do like a snow explosion. It's kind of cute. Just a skin, really, for the bomb. Okay. How do I make them then? Unless I can't, and it just literally gives you 50. I don't remember seeing a recipe for them. Uh, really naked without my bombs. Right. Oh. Hey. Am I not hold on? Can I make snowballs? No. Unless they're made out of snow. Maybe? I don't see snowballs in there, though. They don't seem to put any of them in there. Is it a recipe in here? Uh, so I've got 226 of them, 38 of them, 24 of them. If I've got the branches, we can make that final tree. It's like this, I quite like the concept of industrialising Christmas, like as in 
turning it into a production system. It's like, you know, the elves, but, you know, <laughs> mechanized in a sense. Um, but it's sort of, so I've got 60 actual snow. What does that do? What does this, oh, what does this do snow? Producing constructor. Guess we can make stuff from it, it says. Oh, that's the snowman, isn't it? Ah, they're made from snow. Okay. So, I've got enough for that. So, let's see what that's all about. Where is he? Where's your, where's your snow lad? Here he is. Hello? You don't do anything. Oh, that's not leaves enough. Oh, it's only, I mean, it's decorative anyway. I wasn't expecting it to do anything, but. Has he got novelisks on it? He has, hasn't he? Look, his mouth is made of the explosives. And then blue ones are the baubles. Uh, blue baubles are the eyes. Red baubles are the buttons. And that's. Uh, one of the things. That's quite clever that they've used that again. Right, so. Can we do this last tier before I go? 200 and 200. We're not going to reach that, are we? How many we got? Oh, none. <laughs> okay. Now, I've not made any more of them. Made 60 of them, though. Okay, so we can chuck. Nope, wrong one. Chuck those in there. And then we need a bit more copper. Like that. And then. A bit more iron for the other one, but we've not got any blue baubles. I'm going to have to have that cook, basically. Between... What I'll do between between streams is get that all sort of set up, basically. And ready to go. I'll put everything... In fact, let's... No, let's not put that away. So that we're ready to do the next research tier. Um, we want to put presents in to the things, though. Get that, that going. How many have we got? It's got 730 presents. Don't know I'd need that. So I had 60 of them though, didn't I? So why don't why don't we put this is one to two, okay. 250 of them in. And, and that's one to one. So then 125 of them? Yeah, so I'll leave that sort of cooking, and during the week I'll get it all set up so the next tier, next tier is ready to unlock. Um, basically, so tomorrow we will get the next present. I don't know where it is. Eleven, wherever it is. Don't know offhand. I won't. I won't do any of these. But I say this is what I'll leave till next stream. But we'll get the final present, which is the star, I believe. Um, uh, and that'll let me do that one, I believe. Might be that one as well, I don't know. In fact, I might be able to already do that one, and it's that one that I can't do. But but we've got, because I've got that multi-ornament thingy in the thing. I just haven't got 200 copper and 200 iron baubles. So I'll cook all of them up and make a load of the other stuff just in case. Um, yeah, so, so that's it for today. Um, we'll be back tomorrow for um, Factoria. It's going to be probably a full stream. I need to work out my timing a bit, but uh, it is, as I've mentioned a few times, it's the work Christmas do, but I'm not going to be drinking at that do. Um, and it doesn't start, as it turns out, until 8 o'clock, so... 
Uh, should be able to do a full stream tomorrow, no problems. Uh, Sunday's Factorio stream is going to be dependent um, on the Grand Prix. I'm going to watch the Grand, Grand Prix. Um, so if there's some accident or incident, as seems to have happened loads this year, but uh, if there's some stuff that happens and it delays the Grand Prix, then the stream will start. That uh, stream will be delayed, but um, it'll be a full stream. Um, and then Monday will be Dyson Sphere Program. Uh, it'll be a full schedule next weekend as well. Um, I think. Yeah, there's nothing going to stop it. But then I'll have two weeks off for Christmas, basically. So I won't be streaming the Christmas week or the New Year's week. I might do a one random Factorio one um, for reasons. But, um, but yeah, uh, that's it for today. And be back tomorrow for some more Factorio. Uh, if you've been watching, I uh, hope you enjoyed it and you might consider coming back for another one. Um, if you like my stuff, if you like, in, are interested in catching up on any of the series, I've got a YouTube channel. Um, uh, why is that in the wrong place? Oh, well, never mind. Um, it's Actress Magistus, you can't see it because I say it's in the wrong place. <laughs> I thought I'd moved it, but obviously not. Um, but you're looking, it's alias to Triggle, so if you, if you want to watch that. Um, yeah, and that's it for today. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching, Grim. I um, hope your factory building is uh, <laughs> uh, going well. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'll see you uh, tomorrow if you want to join me. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.